today I'm going to tell you 13 things that you can do to have the perfect WordPress website for search engine optimization. And make sure to watch the whole video because number 13 is the best. Okay, everybody, John Lincoln here with Ignite Visibility. I've been working with WordPress since WordPress came out. I've been doing search engine optimization basically since it began. And today, I'm gonna to tell you all the stuff that I've learned about WordPress so that you can use it to benefit your website. Number one, you gotta choose between categories or tags. WordPress has the category feature or the tag feature. Both can create major issues, especially if you have both of them live. For example, if you had a category live for news and you had a tag live for news, those two things would create competing URLs. So it's really important that you pick one. I highly recommend that you no index tags and you keep categories live and you make sure that you actually optimize those categories, which I'll get into a little bit later. Okay, item number two, you need to have a sitemap, but not just one sitemap, you need to have multiple sitemaps. Those are, the XML sitemap, video sitemap, image sitemap, and if you're in Google News, a Google News sitemap. So make sure you have all those sitemaps. There's plugins for every single one. In addition, item number three, you need to have an HTML sitemap. An HTML sitemap, you wanna take that and link to that in the footer so that if Google crawls any page of your website, they can crawl into the HTML sitemap and that HTML sitemap will list all the different pages you have. If you have more than a couple hundred pages, you might want to create sitemap tiers so that Google can crawl from one sitemap to the next and there's not too many links on a page. Okay, item number four, and also looks like I put that as item number 11 for some reason, but it's Yoast. You want to make sure you install Yoast. It's the best plugin for WordPress. And not just Yoast, but the item number 11 that I have is for Yoast Premium. So Yoast Premium will make sure that you don't have any dead links. It's gonna make sure things are redirecting properly. It's not that expensive and there is a ton of value there. So I highly recommend that you upgrade and pay a little bit more. In addition to those things I just mentioned, they have specific things for schema and local that can be really great for businesses as well. Okay, item number five, we talked about categories and tags. Well, one thing you probably didn't know is you can do dynamic SEO or what that means is use a set of rules to optimize multiple pages at once and the place that you would do that is generally on the category section of a WordPress site. So if you had a hundred different categories and each category has five subcategories on a WordPress site, this is typical of a news site, sometimes an e-commerce site. What you can do is use Yoast to actually set up a set of rules so that the category name gets populated into things like the title, uh, the description and so on and so forth. So make sure you do dynamic SEO. And just a quick point, if you have categories, make sure you fully optimize them. Most times people forget to optimize the categories on their blogs on the WordPress site. You should either do that or you should don't index them. All right, so now we're getting into item number six. For item number six, I have Sumo and Pushnami. Sumo is a really cool plugin and interface that's going to allow you to fire pop-ups on any page of the website, any segment of the website. When somebody leaves the website, you can fire it based off of their on mobile, desktop. It's really, really powerful. I highly recommend you install this. Pushnami is a push notification software that's going to allow you to collect push subscribers and send them notifications. These two things will really help your website. There's also something called Optin Monster, which is a competitor to Sumo, which is really, really powerful. Both are pretty good, and uh, there's different pros and cons to each, but make sure you have at least one. Maybe one of the most important things on a WordPress website is item number seven, and that's the sidebar. So you gotta be really, really deliberate with what your sidebar looks like on any given page, especially on your blog. So on your blog, you wanna make sure you have text at the top that tells people where they are on the web. People land, they have no idea where they are. Your text box is your one chance to tell people where they are, what they need to know about you. You wanna make sure you have social media icons so people can subscribe if they want, an email capture area so people can opt into your email and tell them you know, all the benefits of the email as well. And then you also wanna list your top content and in addition to that, it's usually a good idea to have a bio in the sidebar. And if you don't have it in the sidebar, you wanna make sure that it's on your post level. 
And that's what I'm gonna get into next. On the post level, it's really, really important that you have share buttons, and it's really, really important that you have that individual author bio. The, the author bio is really important for EAT, expertise, authority, and trustworthiness, so that somebody knows that there's credibility behind this article. The share buttons are also really, really important so that people can share it. And one of my favorite ways to create share buttons is by using Sumo. They've got a really great share button creator that you can use and just install and get going. It's, it's one of the best ones out there. Okay, a couple other things. Item number nine, simple 301 redirect. Really easy way so you can just paste in redirects so you can do them yourself. It's a plugin, highly recommend it. W3C Total Cache is a great way to speed up your website and get it really, really fast. There's also WP Fastest Cache. That's another really good one. Recently, we've actually built our own custom plugin for PageSpeed, and it makes WordPress websites get to you know, 90 out of 100, 99 out of 100, and that's working really, really well. And then as we get into item number 12, I highly recommend that for your hosting, you look at WP Engine. That's a great place to host because they really just specialize in WordPress. They make sure it's secure. They make sure you don't have any of the wrong plugins installed that are going to break the website and it's also very good for security and then finally item number 13 the main thing that i talked about that i talked up SiteKit, which is a new plugin by google that's going to tell you a bunch of great information and connect all the different things that you need for google directly to your wordpress website so that's it for some of the most important things that you need to know about WordPress SEO and WordPress in general. I hope you like this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you next time.